<sighs> you know, I thought it was thesis, but it's Theseus. I believe. <laughs>back to our stupid direct scene it's up corbin i'm rick it's so juicy it's so juicy oh my god also another person youtube channels you little knuckleheads yeah uh and also we have a playlist of all the films we've done by their language so obviously this one is uh hindi and english i guess mostly uh but if you like it malayalam uh Bengali, all those, we have playlists for all those, so go check those out. And they're growing uh, and growing, day by day. Anyways, today we are reviewing the English Hindi film. Yes. Ship of, is it, it's Theseus. I've heard both. Okay, I because I originally said I, Ship of Thesis. And I, many have said Ship of Thesis. Okay. So I've heard, I don't know if it's tomato, tomato. Those of you who are more educated than we are, you can encourage us and let us know. Uh, either uh, way. Uh, this is a um, film, obviously, starring, uh, the only one we know, is um, um, Niraj, Niraj. Uh, um, Kabi, I believe his last mm -hmm. name is. Yes. Uh, Kabi, yes. Um, and it's... You wanna... Yeah. Uh, the, the, interesting, I just kind of got the whole thing in one shot. The film explores questions of identity, justice, beauty, meaning, and death mm -hmm. through an experimental photographer, an ailing monk, and a young stockbroker. Great uh, synopsis, by the way. That's a that's a great doesn't synopsis. Doesn't give anything away. It doesn't give anything away, and also uh, because the film, you probably know this. If you don't, there is the metaphysical paradox that is part of Western thinking that's been back since Plutarch, Plato, and all those guys. Uh, and the, the the ship of Theseus or Theseus paradox is about okay. it does something. Yes, in the metaphysics of identity. It's the thought experiment that raises the question of whether an object has all of its components replaced if it remains fundamentally the same object. Yeah. <laughs> if they had put that in the synopsis, they might have gotten yeah. people turned off. Yeah, I agree. If not me, I would have been like, ooh, juicy, yummy. Uh, but there's a lot of people who'd be like, ugh, but it's physics? directed by, say his name? Anand Gandhi. This is his first directorial and only directorial film. Why? He was the creative director on Filmbad. But that's not that's not the director. Um, and then he's done a bunch of short films. And this came out in twenty twelve. Yeah. Uh, I love the poster. Uh, <laughs> you, have you ever looked yeah. At the no, I haven't really looked closely at it. Uh, anyways, but this was also written by him. Uh, right. Anyways, this is going to be a spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, just go watch just it. Just go watch it. Uh, Come I, on I, back. It's got a lot of international acclaim. I know that it went to the Toronto Film Festival uh, and all that kind of stuff. But I know I, every time there's an art house film, quote 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 quote. I just assume they didn't do as well as they should have. <laughs> oh, it's just Meaning the they it did not get Avengers money. Right. Obviously not everything can, but it's one of those things. But 100 cents one of you, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. And we reacted to this trailer a long time ago. Yes, we did. Uh, remember we, when we saw the trailer, we're like, want to see it, want to see it. And Stupid Baby's been begging us forever. Um, it's a goddamn great film. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's my little paragraph, and then we'll talk for about three hours. Oh, holy cow. A magnificent work of art, and you need to know if I call something cinema, film, or art, it's the pinnacle of or the creation. Fart. Yeah, or a fart. <laughs> uh, when we call it a movie, it's got a place in the spectrum of cinematic universe, but uh, that's not the same as a work of art or film. Mm -hmm. A magnificent work of art. Proving once again that some of the finest cinema on earth is coming out of India. And this one's especially unique in that while it clearly shows deep Indian DNA, this movie's not an Indian movie to me. Mm. It's an international movie yeah. with a cinematic and metaphysical intelligence quotient at Oxford University level. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Um, Just worthy of all film festival accolades and Oscar nominations what, it should have gotten. Was this the entry to the Oscars in 2012? If not, it should have been. Yeah. If, if it wasn't, I would like to know what was India, yeah. you morons, if you didn't send this. I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's plausible there was some other gem that was there, but... Maybe, uh, but... Uh, I can't imagine there was a better film. Man. Okay. Um, I love films like this. Um, one, obviously, it's, it's very actor and dialogue driven. Yeah. Whom we love. Yep. It also has <laughs> very little score. 
don't know if you notice that. Oh, I notice. I always notice. Oh my, you know me. I, yeah. I prefer. I prefer directors to let things breathe and do oh, very little man. score. Did this let it breathe? Yeah. Uh, this thing was fantastic. The way it does, it basically goes from <clears throat> three different perspectives. Correct. Uh, one with a, a, a photographer who gets an eye transplant, mm -hmm. uh, and then it goes to a monk who gets, uh, well, ends up getting, like you said, if it's a spoiler reveal, gets a liver transplant mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't want it. And then the last one is a guy who got a kissy transplant and there's a whole, a whole, a whole other conundrum uh, with that one. Um, but I love films like this that just give you question after question after question after, yes. and it does not answer it for you. Yeah, it doesn't pontificate at all. No. It does what, the, what this paradox does in metaphysical thought. Mm -hmm. It just presents the idea for you, presents some of the approaches and some of the hypotheses that people have had, mm -hmm. and lets you decide what you think about it. Yep. I love it. I love that. Yep. Uh, one, it's, I, I don't, Obviously, you know, I don't like spoon feeding in, in film. Yeah. And this just doesn't do it at all. Uh, at all. This, <laughs> uh, so we could just start with my favorite part of the film was obviously Niraj. That, that was obviously the most engaged uh, part, just because one, we know him. Yep. And two, is the brilliant. Oh my God. He was great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, this, we obviously already loved Niraj. Yeah. Uh, from, from, but most of his roles were pretty similar that, that, the, from what, the ones we've seen. Yeah. Secret Games, Patalok, and I believe one or two others. And but we we knew from watching him, yeah, that, that this guy's a trained thespian who's got all of the prerequisite uh, training and capacity to do anything that you hand the guy. Yeah, and he showed it here. Yes, yeah. This uh, again, he was also a detective Bonkashi, and then yes, Talavar with uh, Irfan Khan. Yeah, um, this was definitely. I, I would love to know. <laughs> How method he went for this. Me too. That's what? My, my main question is, tell me about the physicality here. Yeah. Yeah. Did you actually do that to your body? Correct. If so, amazing. Uh, <laughs> and it doesn't, if you didn't do it, it takes not, nothing away. It's not what we're saying. No. It's just something that I'm genuinely interested in. Correct. Because that's how I would be. If I was doing this, I would like to, as healthy as possible, exactly. get to that yeah, not Christian Bale. I don't even. I don't think Christian Bale does yeah. it healthily. No, <laughs> neither did Robert De Niro. Yeah. So there's, but there's a way you can do it. You can get your body the Correct. way that it looked, um, healthy wise. Right. Uh, it's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be fun. No. But I would love to talk to the man and how method he went, and also if he actually like his opening shot on on Niraj, and I'd like to come one come in to the director and the cinematographer magnificent for how beautiful this beautiful was. motion picture uh there's so many shots that were just gorgeous they did a magnificent job it's very rare for you to find a film that can do two things at once and they did it in all three stories without making them seem because I've seen and there's nothing wrong with this you see a film that has three stories and they feel like three different films yeah so not only do these feel, feel like they're all part of the same film but they combine guerrilla filming with Sanjay Leela Bansali visuals sometimes that I literally stopped the thing and took pictures of some of the Oh, of the so did shots. I. They're on my phone and yeah, I'm still right now, but I was... Very rare to get guerrilla style. Did you take a shot of the one where he was standing in the in window? window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I can find it, I'll put it right here. Yeah. But I got, that shot, I just thought... It was like, just God, oh, that inspiring. Is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so the cinematographer... Oh, let's... I want to shout yeah, out Yeah, shout out to the cinematographer. Uh, cinematographer uh, is uh, Pankaj Kumar. Oh, do you do header and Tombad? Well, well, yeah, this guy it just, shows. This guy's talented. Yeah, <laughs> the, the cinematography was just <sighs> absolute gorgeous. And, and another thing I loved, one of the just, we saw this in the trailer, remember? We, we remember thinking it looks like a documentary. Yeah. And it almost felt like that it, a lot of times. It really did, which is a testament to the cinematography as well as the entirety of this cast because every sad ensemble for sure every single person i want to i want to find out like i'd love to talk to niraj about that young man who was playing opposite him and the dialogues they were oh, having with each other that was some of the best part like some of them well best. obviously it was a philosophical conversation so yeah obviously it's interesting right uh and all this <laughs> i would like to also critique one of his things for then calling like when he could compared him to the terrorist bomber Oh, and he said, are you actually going there? Well, I was analogy? like, there's many other analogies you could uh, have come up with to make your point. Because uh, yes. terrorist, but we're going to get a philosophical, because um, terrorist bomber is hurting 
other people. Exactly. It's a whole different conversation when somebody is doing it to themselves. Which is why he left it, because he knew the minute he put it out there. Yeah. And and Niraj's character went, Did you are you really gonna use that yeah. as the analogy? There's Agreed. many other analogies you could use. Oh <laughs> by the way, if you're sitting here and you're watching this at this point, uh, we should let you know that if for any reason you get you get any kind of a trigger when you watch um, animal experiments. Oh. There is a moment yeah. that will make you very uncomfortable. Was, so you need to be forewarned. If you see a scene coming up where they're for me to watch. getting a rabbit, look away for about two, three minutes and then come back. Yeah. Uh, right? It was it was hard for me to watch. It's, it's a hard moment. Uh, and I'm hoping and I'm assuming that that animal was actually taken care of on set. I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm assuming. Right. <laughs> and they just did that for right. like a shot. But oh, but it, the, still, it was a real rabbit, and I was like, ooh. Yeah. The, <laughs> one of my favorite moments in, in the film was when, at the, the first story, she's talking with her, um, I think they were just boyfriend, girlfriend living together. Were they married? I, I don't, don't know. remember. Yeah, but, uh, Regardless, yeah, her partner. Yeah. And he was in the shower. And I love that they just had her walk over, and there he was, fully nude, dick and taking balls. a shower. <laughs> Full frontal, and it was it was so natural and normal to just see a couple talking to each other while the guy's taking a shower. I, I thought I've never, it was... My wife has never seen me naked. Ever. It's against my religion. <laughs> <laughs> Please clarify. <laughs> okay. Um, I am uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Anyway... <laughs> Anyway, <sighs> anyways, yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's always funny to me because in you know it's an art house film when you see a dick <laughs> or a TV show, yeah. like you just know because like obviously they can't they usually don't show that in in film or they have no. to give it an R rating or, or an X rating. Of course, just the minute you see a dick, um, so like it's just just a staple of a lot of art house film. True, which. It's not anything bad. It's just you just know it's probably going to happen, especially yeah. in a French film. And I think one of them seemed French. The French tend to like it a lot. Well, because the body is a piece of art. Yes. Yes. It was a terrible <laughs> French accent. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, I agree. Uh, and I, I that that whole it, it brings that the question, especially yeah. with her, is so great because. The um, I thought both actors did a yeah. Let's go through job. each little segment and the message. Yeah, let's of talk them about her and the parallax. Um, the the whole thing about obviously was it her eyes that gave her 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 sight right. per se in right. terms of her her artisticness, right? Uh, or and then when she got her eyes, is it now somebody else looking? Mm. Like what well, part of it was? And obviously it has to the, the whole met metaphorical question of. You know, where does the soul lie? Mm -hmm. And does it transfer from this part right. to now this person? Well, that's the part of the paradox that is applicable to all three segments and mm -hmm. comes from the actual metaphysical question. And that is the limitation, I think, that applies to it. Mm -hmm. is it it's limited in the scope that it's purely a physical mm -hmm. uh, question. It doesn't take into, into consideration... Well, Neeraj's character took into the soul. It did, but yeah. the paradox itself in Western metaphysical thought... Gotcha doesn't definitively do that. People who hypothesize on it have brought that up. Yeah. But, and that's what I loved about this is because it does take it there uh, with, with his character. But the other thing I found really uh, interesting was how it was clear from both her and him that her photographs weren't, it wasn't that they just weren't the same, they weren't as good when she had eyes. Oh yeah, because she wasn't, she was trusting her instincts. Uh, Correct. Obviously, when she didn't have sight, and then she was when she had sight, she got into her head, and she was trying to set everything up as opposed yes. to her. The way she was obviously capturing it was just natural, real beauty. Correct. Uh, which was what what she enjoyed, and I love the scene where her boyfriend or whatever was explaining the pictures to her. Oh, I love that. I thought it was one brilliant. You know, it's like okay, how. I was trying to visualize her. I was like, okay, so what are you seeing right now? Right, right, right. Because, <laughs> which is great. Uh, I, I love that. I, I was really interested in that part. Uh, and then obviously it went into Niraj's character, which obviously brought up, I think, the most philosophical. That was the, the most, that was the most deeply philosophical going into the realm of the invisible and the spiritual and the moral conundrums and right and wrong. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they all touched on it for sure yeah. in a big way. But his was the most. His, his because he was a monk. 
Mm -hmm. And it reminded me of uh, a lot. Well, his character, isn't this the same conundrum that Steve uh, Jobs had to deal with? Yeah. <laughs> right? And regretted his decision after. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Because um, he wanted to be with his daughter. Yeah. And it, it's... That'll um, change a lot. <laughs> it, I found it interesting that we got to see at the end, not only that I love that we got to see all three of them together at the end, mm -hmm. but I found it interesting that the place that he does get to is a, is a place of definitive decision. He does decide at the end he wants to take advantage of the medicines, even though he knows they're still being... I think he basically disowned the monks as well. He sure seemed to be that way with the clothes he was wearing at the end of the film. Well, because uh, he says he doesn't want to stop, or well, I forget his line that he said at the end of the film, uh, or uh, when he was actually done with his hunger strike. Right. Um, which was incredibly directed and acted and... It's, cinema, it's everything. The shot, the, 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 the sun coming in and hitting beautiful. him right on the face. Just completely gorgeous. And even the way he just... The, the beautiful moment where he's picking up his, his linens that have all of his, his bodily yeah. stuff on it, right? Yeah. And someone else wants to help. And all we're getting are the hands and the arms. And we're getting him just going... Yeah. Just beautiful. I would like to know... Um, it, it, how gorilla they went with this. Because a lot mm. of the times, like when... Him and that kid, the guy okay, was walking down, walking the, down street. the street. Yeah, I saw people looking like right. at camera. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, they just it, literally it looked, shot this. It was like under alley, Yeah, uh, in an alleyway, just go on the street and go, which is amazing because we don't get that luxury here because you couldn't. The cops would stop you and ask for the permit. Permit instantly. If somebody's face is in this and they see it <laughs> and they did not approve you having their face in it, this would you be sued big time. Uh, so it's. You know, obviously it's good, I guess, for some reasons, but it's also for filmmaking, it's wonderful for this right. to be in this scenario because you get, you just get, you get all these extras, you real. all this background work that's so real, real, because it's authentic. They're right. just living their life. Yep. And I love the whole conversation because that was completely one shot from when they started that conversation was. until they got into the room, I believe. Yes. And bless his heart, Niraj was barefoot the whole walk. And the beginning walk where he was introduced with, which was brilliant, the way they, they meshed the two, right? When Niraj was, uh, obviously they did the long walk of him in the morning right. getting to the courthouse. Right. But then they got the centipede. Right. And it was basically, I, I believe, symbolizing what Niraj just did, the, the big walk, and then also tying the first, because they talked about the centipede. The centipede the, conversation. Uh, yes, centipede, the frog. Uh, at the beginning, so it was yes. a beautiful tie-in and almost symbolic of what he just went through getting to the courthouse. Yeah. And he was a bunch of people uh, about to step on him, and then I thought it was hilarious the, what the the kid said to him uh, right after he said, I think it was something along the lines of, um, "Now you have to give him like food and shelter or all this kind of oh, stuff." Oh yeah, he started laughing, uh, and so I thought their relationship was really beautiful, and his whole mindset was really because obviously he believed in the soul, but he was an atheist. Uh, and that's a conundrum in and of itself. It is, and here's probably one of my favorite things about the film, like it doesn't give you the answers, it lets you make those decisions yourself. Yeah. I love that all three of our main um, protagonists in this, the, the girl with the eyes, the monk with the, uh, the, I see it more of his moral conundrum than it was his physical ailment, though all three had a physical problem. And then the other one with the kidney, that all three of these people, they have very firm feelings and beliefs about what they wanted and what they believed, but they were open to growth and learning and moving on and not becoming jaded or darkened by their experience. They just were in this process, which is a very healthy mindset to be in when you're talking about metaphysics, is why we exist the purpose of life and all of those moral conundrums we run into. I love that each of these representations, which were analogous of the actual paradox, had protagonists that were open even when they got to the end of the story. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's extremely intelligent. Yeah, it's a, it's a great, extremely great intelligent. film. It brings up lots of questions, like um, the fact that the monk was obviously just going to let himself die. Right. Um, which, you know, I guess can almost tie into an issue that was an issue. I guess it's still an issue a lot of times, like assisted suicide almost. Yeah. It brings basically almost that question. They're letting him die. Correct. Like, and where, so where does their morals lie? Is it, is it in his hands? Or are you obligated as another person to not let somebody 
he's killing himself. Right. So it's a sen he's essentially just a longer jumping off a bridge. Right. It's essentially what it is. It and most is. people would say that you need to stop that person from jumping off a bridge. Mm -hmm. Or, I, honestly, I, I don't know where even I lie on the issue. <laughs> I think people really have the right to do whatever they want. Right. But, you know, but you also don't want to say that because, you know, you shouldn't want to kill yourself, right? No, you should, yeah. You should want to live. But also, there's a, this person. It's their life. They have the right. right to do with what they want to do with it. Right. So it's, it's one of those, I love that question because it's such a, a great debate that you can oh, have. Yeah, yeah but I, was think, I was thinking to myself, if, if this movie had come out when we were back at Harvest, mm. because I not only, theater was my main core that I taught, but I also taught a worldview class. A, this could be a, a play. Oh, it would be a great play. Yeah. Uh, I, I would have shown this in both my worldviews class and mm. my theater class simultaneously. Yeah. Because it just could be looked at purely as a film that talks about metaphysics, and then it's also just a work of art. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's it's so so smart, and it uh, also underscores. Aside from you could go on and on about the different hypotheses people have had about whether something does become fundamentally different or remains fundamentally the same, using that paradox of the ship that has all of the parts eventually replaced does it remain the same ship? Yeah. The other the, the answer the, is no. Yeah, I I does that I. The, the key if word in that off, if, uh, is fundamentally. Ship, yeah, if you're going off the ship, no. I mean, I think it's a completely different ship now. It's it's a different ship. Yeah. It's fundamentally different. Yeah, but then you go into the, the aspect they did. Body parts. Right. Because uh, there's always these beautiful videos and terribly sad videos that would now make me cry. Like, I saw one recently. Um, I think this guy, his daughter died, right? Mm -hmm. And they got her heart into oh, another man. Oh my stars. And, and so he, he met him and got to listen to his heart. Oh my goodness. So obviously as, as now a dad, that would uh, devastate me, mm -hmm. but it brings the question. He's that's not, it's, it's, it's obviously his son's heart, mm -hmm. but it's not in his body. Right. It's not, it's his, does his soul lie in his heart? So he brings up all those questions, but obviously yes. you associate that person with that heart. I think there was another one where, that was in a heart transplant or something, and they had that person, uh, who was a random person, walk a bride down the aisle because it was her father's heart or something right, like that. Right. Uh, and so it's this big. It's Which big... is why this is metaphysics, because metaphysics, if you aren't aware of what the term metaphysics means, what it basically is is it's the the study of being. Uh, and that and one of my that was one of my favorite things is to t mention the first class in worldviews is tell me the difference between existence and being. Things exist and also things have being and what differentiates the two and it's that whole it's what makes us who we are and why and who says so yeah and the uh, beautiful aspect of having definitive beliefs about something but always remaining teachable uh, I hope as many people as possible can watch this film and yeah. talk about this film there is you could literally sit down for six hours and talk about this film. and talk about either just the artistry or talk about what they're talking about metaphysically. It's it's magnificent. Yeah, and it's uh, I can't really find a flaw with it. No, nah. uh, like I said, all the acting was gorgeous. In terms of just pieces of art that we've seen from India, it's top three easily. And I'd have to think about that. When I think about high if, level, and I'm just talking about art. When I think about high this is level like a, cinema, yeah, like the creme de la creme. What we want to put in a time capsule in a thousand years, look back and go, this was the best we could produce. Mm -hmm. I immediately think of three films based on what we've watched in the mm -hmm. past year and a half. Yeah, Header, yeah. Hellerau, and this. Yeah. Those are the first three that come to mind. And then obviously Kambalanji Nights yeah, falls in there. Bunch, there's a bunch. But I those are the about instantaneous. It, not just, three. not in terms of just f film, in terms of like, I, I love this movie. In terms of like, this is a piece of art that deserves to be in a museum. Exactly. Style of film. Exactly. And there's, preserved. there's few that have been at this level because not and not just in India. It's just that's yeah, the way it is. General, in general. And general. There, there's films that have won Best Picture that don't qualify. So I'm wondering one why this director has not done more. Yeah. Like holy cow! Give this man some money and let him make stuff. I mean, unless this was it. This was his passion project. And he's like, okay, done. Next project. I'm I'm over. 
Could be. Yeah, I don't know. But boy, oh boy, if you have it in you to make more, somebody help this guy get it done. Yeah, it was, br and I love the, the, the poster because it has that one, if you haven't seen those videos on YouTube of the, the fungus taking over the ant, yeah. some of the coolest videos. It is cool. From nature. <laughs> It is cool. It's, and it does do that. It comes out its head. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's super, super cool, yeah. which obviously ties into what happened to Niraj and in his head. Is it now him uh, anymore? There's it's so many questions. So it's, it's brilliant. So, so let good. us know what you thought about this film down below. Let us know what other films we should watch next. Niraj, uh, let us know what other his films we should watch next. And if, you're, love them. if you're wondering where you can watch this, Amazon. That's all. Would they also be able to find it uh, on YouTube? I think it's on YouTube as well. Yeah, I think you could find it with subs <laughs> on YouTube. But I think it's, it's on also Amazon. on Amazon. That's how I watched it. Yeah. So let us know down below what you thought of it, and um, throw some metaphorical questions down there. Who knows? <laughs>